Nvidia is set to shake up the graphic card market once again. With the announcement of not one, but two powerful GPUs. The first one is the highly anticipated RTX 4090 Ti, which promises to deliver top-notch performance for demanding tasks such as 4K gaming and content creation. However, Nvidia has raised the bar even higher with the unveiling of the Nvidia Titan RTX and generation. The direct successor to the original Titan RTX released in 2018. The export and import data in Folsa registered the shipment of a prototype GPU called PG137000 that heads out to India from the US for testing and validations. At the moment, there is no GPU with a PG137 board and it is also not the board for the RTX 6000 ADA. According to early reports, the upcoming NVIDIA RTX will use the AD102 chip, which is based on the ADA Loveless architecture. In terms of technical specification, there are only slight variations. In core clocks, memory clock, setting units, TMUs, ROPs, tensor cores, SM count, and RT cores, compared to the RT4090 Ti. This may indicate that the NVIDIA Titan RTX AD generation will only be slightly faster compared to the RTX 4090 Ti. The biggest difference will be the amount of VRAM. The NVIDIA Titan RTX AD generation will have 48GB of GDDR6X VRAM. Also with 384-bit bus width, double the amount of RAM for the RTX 4090 Ti. VRAM serves as a buffer for the GPU to store and access the texture models and other graphics data needed to render the game. Once the VRAM utilization reaches maximum capacity, the GPU must transfer the excess data to system memory, which can slow down performance. Even so, although having extra VRAM can be helpful for some demanding games, it won't necessarily result in higher frame rates if the game doesn't require it. The 48GB of GDDR6X VRAM is more suited for professional and industrial tasks, higher resolution video editing and post-production, 3D rendering and animation, scientific simulation, machine learning and AI, all require a large amount of VRAM in a GPU to store and process high resolution graphics data. The NVIDIA Titan RTX ADA generation has a TDP of 800 watts and requires at least a 1200 watt PSU. Overall, this GPU is probably overkill for mainstream gaming and it is more suitable for professional users. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.